Join me for the one time of the year where the whole of Thailand turns into a massive water fight. Welcome to Thailand in April when the rain season starts and Thai people celebrate the start of their new year. Traditionally, people gave the blessings at this time of the year by pouring rose water on their elders. This is to purify and wash away bad luck. It's usually on April 9, but it's a week-long holiday, so people have the chance to travel home to their family. Here's how I celebrate it. Day one, my grandma picked my outfit. I felt like a Hawaiian receptionist, but turns out the whole country wears flowery tops like that. We then had dinner at the local school. Day two, my cousins took me to the local water festivities. It started low key, but soon there was a lot of traffic, especially around the karaoke stages. Usually because cars stacked with jukeboxes needed special help to continue driving. The best thing of Songkran is that anyone can participate, from small kids to the elderly. Here's the aftermath of our tour in the local town in Lampang. Day 3. My grandma took me to the temple at 7am. She picked that outfit for me. After the temple visit, I got my Damhua, which is the blessing from the elders. I got mine from my grandma, of course. I made my way to Chiang Mai in the afternoon to celebrate with my friends. Here, they celebrate Songkran on a huge scale. The whole town turned into a water fight and people celebrated until long after sunset. Unlike in Lampang, where I was participating from the car, here I was participating from the pedestrian side. I've also seen tuk-tuks and ice cream vans in Chiang Mai. Ice cream vans are actually quite smart. It's a good way to store the water. People's blessing, aka water weapons, range from simple buckets to whatever this is. Is that a fireman's hose? Like, how do you even get access to that? Anyway, so ground is an amazing time to travel to Thailand and get involved in the fun. Let me know in the comments if you'd rather celebrate with the locals or in a big city like Chiang Mai.